Alright, now we're going to learn how to map data. And I was going to have another chapter about cleaning up data and everything, but I have another idea for a different chapter. Um, I think mapping data should go right here, because I have an analog read, and I have some funky data that is hard to read by human standards. In other words, I have this data that goes from a, a greater number, like 750, I'll just kind of put that on the table, and when I put my hand over the sensor, it gets a lower value. Now coding wise, that's kind of a nightmare. So what we're going to do is map that data to a more easy understanding system where, you know, let's say it gets into the higher numbers and they're lower too as far as you know 750 I, I might want the range of like 200 or something like that okay well it's very easy uh, what we're first gonna have to do is create another integer and I'll call this light bulb and go with that theme of capitalizing the <laughs> next word integer light bulb and we'll put a zero down for that and that's before anything. That way we can use it anywhere in the system. Then what we're going to do is create a new where we're taking this read and we're going to convert it over to something else. So light bulb well, capital bulb equals and here is the key to understanding it map so we're going to map the sensor value and right now we're putting up with a ridiculous what 750 and let's see what the lowest one is I'll put my hand over there about 398 somewhere around there okay and what we want to do is map that to a system like maybe 30 being the lowest number and 200 being the greatest number why then why that well um, I wouldn't go zero because it'll go into the negative range it just will because right now I just pulled that resist that photoresistor out of my junk drawer so technically I don't know the value of the photoresistance there. So I'm going to be play it safe and say 30. Okay. Then we're going to take that and go like that. Now we have to write this a little bit different. So now it's going to be light bulb. And I don't know the value here yet. So I'm just going to kind of keep it there. And I'm also going to say serial print light bulb. There we go. So uh, just a few changes. I'll know this number here in a second. Okay, much lower values. Also, you'll find it just a tad bit more accurate for some odd reason. Okay, I'm putting my hand just slightly above this, maybe one inch. And one inch is saying... About 130. Okay, 130. So if I say it's greater than 130, that should be good. All right, let's try it. Oh yeah, see how much more accurate that is? Now it goes the other way too. Let's say it's less than negative 30, 130. In this case, the bulb's going to be on. Oh. 
and when I pass over the top of it one inch, it should shut off. I don't know why you would do that because, you know, if you think about it, if it gets dark in the room, you want the light to turn on, right? But maybe if you had a trip value there for the circuit to say if something is in front of the camera, shut off. Because you can get really, really far away now. Let's say I put this as 80. And I'm putting my hand about two inches above it. See? So now it's a lot more accurate. I get further away from that sensor because I mapped it out. All right, so that is mapping data coming from a sensor. We're gonna be using it for more examples here in the future, but for right now, that'll get you started in the understanding of it. All right, enjoy.